Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So I have filmed a little house tour for you. This has probably been one of my most requested videos in a long, long time. So I hope you enjoy. Please like if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment on what you want to see next. And yeah, enjoy the video. So we're going to start off in the hallway. Our house is a three bedroom bungalow, so there's no stairs, which I found really strange at the start, but now I'm getting used to it. I couldn't imagine walking up and down stairs all day now. So as you walk in, we have quite a good size hallway to be fair. Um, I got this rug from Very. It was only like £30 and I, rugs are so expensive. So it gets wrecked from like walking on it all the time. So I can just replace it because it's very, very affordable. These are the shoe. This I hate. This just gives me anxiety, but we need somewhere to put our shoes. And this is our little hallway setup, which I love. This is probably one of the favorite places in our little house. That plate needs to go. <laughs> yeah, so this is one of my favorite little spots. We have some lanterns. I love a good lantern. They're all from B&M or Home Bargain, somewhere like that. Still got a Christmas candle out, but you know, you gotta love Christmas, so. And that internet box does my head in too, but we need internet. Can't be helped. I have a Louis Vuitton book from Amazon. My gorgeous flowers from Little Rose. I will link her down below. Oh, amazing. I love this vase as well. It's from Matalan and it's got like that iridescence to it. Still got my next festive spice going, clinging on to the last bit of Christmas. This neon candle. Oh my God, it smells like citrus lemony so fresh and i love the little quote happy mind happy life this tray is from home sense love that gone for like copper feels in here and i love these little coasters as well uh, my sister-in-law got me them absolute bargain of a mirror this from the range 20 pound our lamp is from wayfair and it's got like a nice marble bottom Light is from Danelm. We have two of these, one round there too. Then we have this little mirrored photo from Danelm again. And then as you come in, the hallway goes up there and that's where our other light is as well. But we'll go into the kitchen now. It's quite dark in here because the sun is at the front of the house. But this is our kitchen. It's not huge, but it does us and it's really cute. Everything that is here was here before we moved in. We didn't have to do absolutely anything to the house, which was just amazing. Like some of our friends have bought houses and they've had to completely rip it out. And I kind of do want to do that because I do love everything, but I would change some things to my taste. So we're just working on what we got at the minute and hopefully in the next couple of years we can do a big renovation. So yeah, this is where the sink is, our little top here. Always got a, a wax melt burning. These blinds are not a bit of me, but they do the job. And then if you come round here, my beautiful Valentine's Day flowers underneath the, I never put flowers on the cooker before, but I popped these here and I really like it with like the under lighting. Then it just wraps around a cooker, fun stuff. All of our appliances are from B&M, basically. And our fridge, that's our barbecue up there. Can't wait for summer to do barbecues. And then I love this setup here. So it's like a mini island, really. So I've got all my, my nice glasses. This is the only organized bit of my kitchen. And this is our like coffee station. 
and cup of tea station for me. And I've got these little quotes everywhere. Life begins after coffee because that is so true and I haven't had one today. And that leads out to the back garden then the back door. So yeah, this is our kitchen. Oh, I also just wanted to show you how cute is this? It is um, an oven mitt with Sky's face on that I got for Christmas a couple years ago. Favourite present ever. So when you come back out, this is the hallway. That is just our boiler, boring stuff, cupboard. And this is my filming getting ready room. It is an absolute mess at the minute. As you can see, I've got my work chair, my HD brow chair. My clothes are usually pushed up against this. There's a lot more room. But I was working from here before we got told to close. So all my stuff is still here. So this is where I film. I flipped it round. My lights used to be this side, but then the clothes were in the background. Didn't really like that. So I like that it's got a plain background now. And stay tuned for an ASOS haul coming in the next week or so. So excited about that. This is probably my favourite part. And like this is not on show as much because of these clothes. So it's all like my shoes, my bags. Just my most favourite things up there. And then, yeah, we got my chair. Love, love these curtains. They're from Danelm. And yeah, that is holding all my makeup. This is all my brow kit. And I love this little area too. I got my 20K plaque when I hit 20K on Instagram. And just the little cute section there. So we're back in the hallway. That light is above us, love those lights. And then we have the bathroom. Again, all this bathroom was fitted before we got in. It's not exactly what I would want in a bathroom. The tiles do my head in. There was an older couple living before us. So there's those like handles, but we're working with what we got at the minute. And another cute little photo frame there. Oh, I just want to go on holiday. That is when we went to Iceland, best holiday ever. That is my house in Spain, me and Sky, Kate and Sky, and then that's me and my other dog, dog that sadly passed away a couple of years ago, Lexi. So yeah, we love Huskies. <laughs> and yeah, so this is the bathroom. You come in, again, it's not massive, but it works for us. So a glorious toilet. This little ladder stand is from B&M, love that. So I get to put like candles, my towels, my toilet roll, my little Chanel book was from Amazon. And these plants I've got everywhere are from Ikea. Can't wait to go to Ikea again. So I've just got my skincare here. These are also from Ikea. Little plants, got always a candle burning. Some more little prints. These are from Decenio. Our sink. Hello. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm in my dressing gown, obviously filming this. And there's our shower. How fun. We don't have a bath, all my dressing gowns, my hoodies, love that. We don't have a bath, but um, yeah, we're thinking of getting one when we do. I just wanna show you what's behind here. I recently bought this from Home Bargains. I mean, it's quite ugly, not gonna lie. But I just popped that behind my little photo and it smells the room out so much. So yeah, this is our bathroom. And now I'm back in the hallway and these are the two bigger bedrooms. So this is just a wardrobe spare bedroom. Again, it's not tidy, but I'm showing you because you guys want to see it. So this is like my makeup kit when I'm at weddings. And it's normally over my mum's, but I was working here just before Christmas. So it's all over here. And it's a pretty decent sized bedroom, to be honest. We've just got a sofa bed in here at the minute because we play like we and stuff in here. <laughs> and this is our wardrobes. Again, these wardrobes were here when we got um, here, which is amazing. Like, I would like the IKEA Pax wardrobes, you know, the ones that are fitted. But these go quite nicely. I do really like these. 
and this is an ikea sofa bed just flips out into a double bed if we do have anyone over to stay obviously at the minute we are not so that's fun and um, this little uh table is from b&m love that really cute and this storage unit is from ikea and the boxes are as well so this is where like kurt has <laughs> its clothes he has this little wardrobe here i have the rest of it and then he also has this drawer here like ignore the dirty washing this let's not talk about this does anybody else have a boyfriend that has amazing ideas and then it's got to go somewhere in the house and then you're like why is that in my house it is a chair full of his rugby jerseys but he said as soon as it gets nicer outside it's going to go in the garage because he's done the garage up as a bar so can't wait for that day because this is killing killing my vibe this is usually such a nice corner with the, the mirror we normally have like a nice lamp but you know you gotta do what you gotta do for your loved ones this is my makeup chair that's also here oh god look at the state on me this is me 24 7 guys except for when i do one <laughs> makeup look a day and i look glam but then it's straight off and i'm back like this so yeah, this is our spare bedroom. So we're back here again, and this is the master bedroom now. We don't have wardrobes in here, so it does look a lot bigger than it would have if we did put wardrobes. That's why we've changed that room into a wardrobe room. So we just step in, and oh, I love this room. We've recently done it out. Yes, yeah, so this is our bedroom. Again, these two side tables match the wardrobe in the other room. So we're just working with them. Again, they're not what I usually want to go for, but this stuff is expensive. So anything that we can get cheaper or for free, we are all for it. So the bed is from Wayfair. My new bed in is from Very and Next love that this throw is from premark amazing two pillows are from h&m the side lamps are from b&m prints from decenio we got our little fluffy lamp well lampshade kurt hates it i love it i feel like it reminds me of a cloud and we've gone in the decenio prints we've gone for that feather feel that all you need is love and the dream feather i don't know if you can see that because the light but yeah this is our garden out there. We're getting our garden done in the next couple of months. Can't bloody wait. And again, there's me. <laughs> and this was a part of the furniture as well. It's a lot smaller for this area. I could have a lot bigger sideboard, but we're just working on what we got. I have this cute little wall um, feature from B&M. That was only about £10. That was really nice and got some pictures here where we got engaged always have a candle burning these flowers are gorgeous from premark and our tv and then this area i love this mirror i had this for my birthday off kit and i have some dried flowers here i'm gonna get a gray one of these my workout clothes are here so <laughs> that's where i keep my clothes i'm gonna wear the next day I'm going to get a grey one though. That is usually in my getting ready room, but obviously we don't have room for it. But I just love this mirror. It's from the range. We have some new curtains. Love that. They match the throw too. And then just some more pictures. Some cute pampas bits. Some candles. So yeah, this is our bedroom and I love it. So we're coming back through the hallway now. So kitchen's on our right back down to the front door and this is our living room and this room is huge and I love it and it's not finished we want to put some stuff on the wall but this is our sofa our sofa was our present moving in present off my parents amazing best sofa ever from Sophology then we have this little side table from B&M so so cheap and I have my Tom Ford book, our engagement book, some candles. I love these body candles at the minute. I'll link everything down below. 
And then on this corner, we have a new addition, which is our lamp from Next. Absolutely love it. My parents have it in their house, so we copied. And again, I put some of these candles on, some greenery, one of the Ikea flowing candles. Oh, I love, love these knotted ones. Oh my God, they are amazing. So yeah, I love this little corner. We've gone for quite like dark features in here because everything is pretty neutral. So if I swing you around, this is the sofa and we have the puffy as well. Absolutely love that. We pop that up against the sofa and it's just like one massive bed. And then this is our fireplace. Again, this fireplace was here when we got in and I absolutely love it. It just adds so much more coziness and warmth to the room. If you haven't got a fireplace, I recommend getting one. It's only electric when you just switch on and off. I'd love a log burner, but that is a good few years away. So yeah, this basket is from HomeSense and I got all our cozy blankets in there. This plant is from Primark and we got some fairy lights and candles on our big ass telly. And then in this corner, we have this gorgeous chair from HomeSense. I absolutely love it. Oh my God. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. I thought Kate was going to hate it, but he actually loved it. So this is this section. We also have a wreath from Little Rose too. Link her down below. Amazing. And we have another lamp in this corner. That lamp was usually there, but now we have this statement lamp. I think this is going to go in the spare bedroom when that the rugby chair moves please move <laughs> so yeah this is this little reading corner i would say this is where our christmas tree usually goes and then if you come round here also how much does this room light up i've had to shut them slightly but these shade um like the shutter blinds were already here too and i know how expensive these are these windows are huge so we are so lucky that these were already in with the house when we bought it. So yeah, if you come around here, then this is our dining room. And I love a dining room. Never thought I'd use a dining room table. I can see Skye's. Can you see Skye's toy under there? <laughs> I just seen now. <laughs> There's a bloody hot dog under there from Skye. So yeah, this is our dining room. So that behind there is our kitchen. So I just got these three little mirrors here. They're from B&M, they were like five pound. My mum accidentally picked them up and I thought, hmm, they could actually go on my whole, my dining room wall. Cause I find it hard to fill up walls. I don't want to put pictures everywhere. So I'm trying to find stuff to fill the walls up. So this table and chairs are absolutely gorgeous from Wayfair. So it's a bench style there and these upholstery chairs. It's kind of sad, it's like tucked away, but it proper fills up this room. And this side table, I haven't filled it up yet. We've been in here over a year and I still haven't filled it up. Don't know what to put on it, but it's the same collection as the side table in the hallway from Wayfair. So I've just got some faux flowers, a side lamp, some candles, and the little Ikea basket here that's got some little bits in that you don't want actually on show. So yeah, that is our dining room. I will show you the garden, but it's not really fun. But yeah, this is my favorite room in the house. I'll show you through the, the bedroom. So this is our garden nothing major over there is like our seating area if you can see but basically this is just sky's little playpen and that there is our garage i might show you that later i'll get kurt to put on all the lights and you know and show it as a bar because if you can see on that plaque there i don't know if you can see it says kurt's bar lockdown 2020 <laughs> He went all out, guys, and he's got some loads of stuff for the summer. He wants to proper pimp it out. He's going to put, like, a window here so there's more likes. It's quite, like, a grungy dungeon vibes at the minute. But, yeah, this is our garden. 
So guys, it's dark and I'm gonna show you famous Kurt's bar. He's done it out. It's been a couple of days since I filmed the last home bit, but the grand reveal. This side is still a garage, obviously, because we need somewhere to put our, you know, just garden stuff. There's the man himself. Back in the Kurt's bar. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we gym in the evenings, our tumble dryer, where we keep all our garden stuff. And then if you come over to the other side, ta-da, oh my God, it actually looks like a proper pub from here. So this, guys, is Kurt's Bar. This is where we spend most weekends. We had breakfast um in here on sunday the weekend previous and it was so lush i actually felt like i was in a pub a proper pub and i've ordered breakfast sky was here she was the pub dog and it was absolutely lush so let's give you a little tour so if you come that is the door we just come through this is where'd you get these table and chairs from amazon, amazon. they were like a hundred pounds yeah, um, we got these table and chairs from Amazon and they go with like the aesthetic of our house as well. I mean, the chairs are a bit dodgy. I've fallen off them a few times, so I probably don't recommend them actually, but it looks cool in here. And then we have this huge TV that he watches darts most of the time on there. Some more bar stools. Try and count how many chairs we actually have in here because there's a lot. He made this bar himself last summer first week of lockdown <laughs> got bored and made a little bar and we've like glued all bottle taps and uh, bottle caps and stuff on it for some of the stuff he's got in here it's actually quite cool he's ordered he's ordered loads of stuff for the walls so we've got this guinness he's obsessed with guinness if you can't tell the guinness mirror we have an actual proper pump that works but we need to like clean it out and stuff but don't know if we'll actually ever do that then we have our fridges and stuff down here and then this he actually made himself too it's so cool he just made it from my like old palettes and put the led light in from amazon behind it and all our bottles are in there and then look guys the chair is in here i'm so glad so my room is gonna be looking so much better now that bloody chair is out there but it actually suits this room i'm glad he's got it for this room but it's just not it's not coming in in the house and then he picked up this for some from someone last summer a guy not too far away from us was making them and it's actually really cool it was quite expensive i think he paid about 200 pound for it but it's worth it it's cool it's what he loves like we spend 200 pound on makeup so it's no different for him then we've just got some cool things on the wall and his dartboard. But yeah, this is where we're going to be spending most of our time. Summer 21. Hopefully we'll get to actually go to a proper pub, but this will do. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little home tour addition to my youtube channel if you do like seeing more homey bits please let me know leave a comment down below subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video bye guys